Hello everybody, my name is Mike Guide, and in this video we are going to look at deploying our game. Okay, so at this point, our game is made. You know, it's done, it's finished, we've got all the features we want in our game, it's fun to play, uh, objectively, uh, arbitrarily, maybe, hopefully, <laughs> it's a, whatever, it's a, it's a finished product. So what I want to do is, now I want to make it so I can give my product to somebody, okay? Because if I hand them .cpp file, .h files, and I'm like, here, play my game, uh, they're not going to enjoy that one so much. So uh, I want to go ahead and I want to deploy my project. Now, a couple disclaimers. First off, uh, this video is made for people using Visual Studio. If you're not using Visual Studio, uh, unfortunately, I can't help you too much. So uh, I apologize for that. Just uh, the deployment I've always done has been with Visual Studio. Uh, if you don't use Visual Studio, if you manage your deployments, uh, through either whatever operating system or whatever compiler you use. Um, if you want to write a tutorial on that and give it to me, I'd be more than happy to post it for you. Um, you'd, be, you'd be doing everyone a big favor. So, uh, so first and foremost, can't help you if you're not used to Visual Studio. I just don't know. You know, it's not something I, I, it's not an environment that I work in other than Visual Studio. Uh, the second thing is I'm building this for Windows. Uh, if I were to build it in Windows and then give it to someone, say, on a Mac, they would not be able to run it. Um, different operating systems. So if you're going to build it uh, for a Mac, or if you want to play it on a Mac, you got to build it on a Mac. If you want to play it on Linux, you got to build it on Linux. Um, there might be some exceptions where you can build for other operating systems. I don't believe so for iOS. I don't believe so for Mac. I think you have to be on a Mac to build for it. I don't do a whole lot of uh, 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 Mac development, so I, I'm not entirely certain there. Um, okay, so those are my little disclaimers. Now, we have been running our game in debug mode this whole time. Debug mode is great because if there's an error, we can go ahead and see what line the error happened on, see a call stack, see things like that. However, uh, once our game is finished and ready to go to market, we want to go ahead and build it in something called release mode. Release mode does not have all that heavy overhead that debug mode has. Um, however, if you get an error in release mode, you just get an error. Uh, the thing crashes and there's not a, really anything you can do about it. Uh, but in release mode, you save on the overhead, uh, and I have experienced speed gains up to speed gains up to 30% when running in release mode over debug mode. Uh, your mileage may vary; you may not gain that much. You might gain more. I don't know. Uh, but re release mode is generally faster uh, than debug mode. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here and I'm going to select release mode, and that puts us in release mode. Now, all project specific options we have set up for uh, uh, our game in debug mode goes away in release mode so we have to reset them. So I'm going to right click on my project name, in this case it's a Lego example, you might be calling your game something else. I'm going to go to properties, I'm going to go to linker, and then input, and under additional dependencies I need to re-add the Allegro 5.0.1 monolith md.lib. Now notice I'm not doing uh, the uh, slash debug uh, because we're in release mode we don't need the debug. So I hit OK there and I'm going to come down here to system and I don't want that console to appear. You're all familiar with that console. So I want to come up to my subsystem and I want to select Windows. All right, That way that console won't appear. And now I'm going to build it. Great, we didn't get any errors. I have successfully built in release mode. Okay, uh, So my, my code, my executable has been built. Um, I could double click on the executable and run it right now and play the game. But what I want to do is I want to build an installer. And an installer is going to be uh, 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 basically a file I can give to someone. They can double click it, install the game onto their system, and start playing it. All right? uh, so that's what I want to do. I want to add an installer project to my solution. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to come up here to my solution, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select Add new project. Now Visual Studio is great about this. Uh, they have this thing, the, the Visual Studio installers that do a lot of work for you. So I'm going to come over here to other project types, setup and deployment, Visual Studio installer, and I am going to select the setup wizard. Now the name I give to this is the name I want for my game. You can actually name this something else and then and then through the properties change to, to be what you want your game to be called, but I'm going to save myself a step and just name this side shooter. So the install will install side shooter. Side shooter is what I want my name, the name of my game to be, and I'm going to hit OK. 
Uh, this menu is just your boilerplate. I'm going to hit next. I want to create a setup for a Windows application. I don't want any of this other stuff. And then what do I want my project to include? Well, I want the primary output from Allegro Example, which is the name of my project. Your game might be named something different. But the primary output from that. I'm going to hit next, and it's going to say, what additional files do you want to include? Now, for this, we need things like our images, our fonts, our, 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 our music, things like that. Everything that's going to be in our game, you know, that's not code specific, uh, i.e., you know, not like DLLs or libraries or H file, whatever. I'll, any external file we need to include here. Okay, so I'm going to hit add, and uh, pardon my mess here. Uh, I've just been throwing everything in here. Uh, we need to grab everything my game needs to run. So I need the Arial TTF font, I need the asteroid, the boom sound, the explosion. Let's see what else. Hopefully, I don't, if you miss something, your game's going to crash. You've got to figure it out and go back. Um, let's see. Screens, the shot sound, my song, uh, the spaceship. Let's see. Backgrounds. There we go. Um, that should be everything. We'll see if my game crashes. So I'll hit OK here. Uh, you see all these files that my game uses. I'm going to hit Next and Finish. And here we go. Our, our install uh, our installer project has been added to the solution. Fantastic. If I click in the application folder here, we can see all of the files that's going to go. The application folder is the program files. So C uh, program files or program files 86 if you've got a 64-bit machine. Um, that's what this folder is. The user's desktop is obviously the desktop. We can put a shortcut to our game there. The user's program menu is the start menu. We can put a shortcut to our game there. Um, and we can you know do stuff with that. If I click on side shooter, uh, in my Solution Explorer, I get a bunch of these properties. Uh, I could change the default company name of the author. I can make it my guy games or whatever. Um, I'm just going to leave it like it is because I don't really care. I can give a description, keywords. I can change my localization. All oop, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. I'm not going to play around with any of this stuff here, but you can do that. You can you know really fully feature and all that stuff. Uh, so my, my game has been built, so I'm going to right click on side shooter, I'm going to click build for side shooter, uh, side shooter is going to build, awesome, everything's, everything's good to go, uh, that's it, that's, that's deployment, let's test it out here. So I have here my Allegro example solution folder with my Allegro example project folder and this new folder, this side shooter folder, and when I double click it and go into release, because we built in release mode, I see install files, how awesome is that? I can give someone just these two files. These two files have everything we need. All right. Now I've already uninstalled Allegro from my system because uh, basically, if you run your game and you have Allegro installed, you might be reading like a false positive. It might be working, you know, and then you give it to someone else and it not work because they don't have Allegro installed. We want this to work no matter what software uh, someone has installed. We want it just to work. Uh, so I've already uninstalled Allegro from my system so that I could test this out. Uh, so basically, let's go ahead and uh, uh, run this here. So I'm going to double click on Setup EXE, and I get my Welcome to the Side Shooter Setup Wizard. I'm hit Next. Default Location C, Program Files 86. Default Company Name, Side Shooter. That's great. I'm going to hit Next. Next. Little menu is going to, or a warning is going to pop up. Any second now. There we go. I'm going to hit Yes. And there we go. My game has been installed. I know it's been installed because I have my program files folder open up here I got C program files default company name right here side shooter okay so it is it's where I want it to be in the default company name I'm double click side shooter and here's my game all of these files were in these two files okay so I give someone these two files when they run it and install it they get all of these files now let's make sure if I remembered every file let me go ahead and double click Allegro example and awesome my game pops up and we're playing it. Now, like I said, I don't have Allegro installed. You could give this to anybody. They can install it, assuming they have a Windows, obviously. Um, and it just works. Now they're playing your game, and they're thoroughly amazed by your accomplishments, uh, and you become a world-class game player. Okay, so everything about this works. Awesome. Great. So my game is ready to deploy. I mean, I, I give someone these two files, so I put it on a disk, put it on the internet, I don't know, um, spam people with it, whatever, um, and they could run it and they can enjoy it and, you know, much kudos can go around. 
Awesome. Here's another really cool thing. Let's say, I don't really like this game, you know? Um, I just want to get rid of it. Oh, well, this file, setup.exe, comes with an uninstall feature. When I double click it again, I get this remove side shooter. And I can hit finish, and it's going to remove it. A little warning is going to pop up. Any second. There we go. Hit yes, and it's removed. Now I come back here, and look, it's gone. Fantastic. So that's it. My, my game is deployed in release mode. It runs great. I can give it to people. Yada, yada, yada. Awesome. Okay. So our game is done. All right. We've added all the features that we want. We've even, we've even built our installation files. Like I said, I can sell this or give it away or whatever. My game is done. So that's pretty much going to conclude um, this, this part of the, of the web series of 2D game development. And more importantly, it's pretty much going to conclude the series on, on 2D game development. Um, you know, I've, I've gone through everything I wanted to go through with this series. Uh, the only things really are to come back and tweak a few things and, and add a few appendices on object-oriented programming and stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, but this is going to pretty much wrap it up. So uh, I appreciate uh, all the people who have watched it this whole time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and create a conclusion uh, where I'm going to wrap everything up for you here, but uh, but as far as actual coding goes, that's going to sort of finish things. So thanks for watching.